Self-destruct sequence activated. Three, two, one. This is another solar update for March 13th, 2012. I had a new event today off of, uh, once again, Sunspot 1429. Just as it's about to go over the western limb, it's still giving us trouble. Um, I guess we could start uh, with spaceweather.com. Um, they're saying it's an M7 class, but as I'll show you in just a second, it's a borderline X1. Uh, they peaked around 1741 Universal Time, which would be about 141 um, here on the East Coast, United States, Eastern Time. Um, it's due to arrive on the on March 15th um, at 6:20 Universal Time or about 2:20 Eastern Standard Time. Um, taking a look at um, Ace Electrons, you can see where uh, this is when. The flare erupted. If you look at the x-ray, you can see that it is right on the edge. It's a little higher than an M7. Um, officially what I uh, read was M8.1. It's a borderline x-flare there. Another ace graph showing um, the time of the CME. Um, let's see what the CME looked like on SOHO. Watch it about 1700. And I'll scroll back up. Any second. Now that is Earth directed, even though 1429 is about to go over the western limb. Let's take a look at uh, Signet. There's your blast right there to arrive on the 15th. Here's Earth. As you can see, it's going to be a little bit more than a graze. This will impact Earth. Looking back at space weather again, um, the solar wind at the moment 527 kilometers a second, but very low proton density. Uh, this is higher than ambient uh, solar wind speeds, and I would have to say it is because of this uh, large trans-equatorial coronal hole that we have right here which is uh, facing Earth 1429 is over here in the way about to go around the western limb you have 1432 1433 1434 these two are expected to grow and become more active along with this corona hole stream we we'll want to keep our eye on that. There's the sunspots labeled again. This is your coronal hole, 507. There's 1429 that produced the uh, M8 uh, today. Um, some other news to keep up with. Um, at the end of this video, I'll. Uh, I went out in my backyard tonight and uh, got a few photos and a little bit of video footage of uh, Venus and Jupiter in the night sky. Um, sadly, I don't have a telescope, but I did get some pretty, uh, pretty good nighttime pictures, and I will include those in uh, in high resolution at the end of the video. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching.